What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Stalker Clear Sky. My name is Splattercat and I'm happy to have you here today as I appear to be engaged in a gunfight with a bunch of bandits who these guys don't really seem that interested in fighting. That's actually who wiped out all these dudes over here. Wait, who is that dude right there? Who did I just shoot? Hold on. I'm pretty sure that these are... Yeah, that's a bandit right there, so he's got to go. Get rid of him real quick. Let him slump to the ground. I thought bandits invaded over here, so it looked like there was a bunch of dead guys. Everything else seems to be okay. Looks like there's bandits coming through the back door. That's never good when you got a backdoor booty bandit taking care of business. Bunch of dead guys over here, though. It looks like the stalkers might actually get run out of town. And that is a concerning turn of events. I just want the guns and whatnot, though. It'll make it easier for me to make a little bit of cash here because I've been broke for a while. So if I can grab a couple of these guys, a couple of these guys. Yeah, it looks like there was actually a pretty big breakthrough on this side. Yikes. Well, it looks like somebody made a push, and that push definitely... That little Valsalva maneuver appears to have worked. I am over-encumbered. Got a stalker. I think he's actually dead, although that's a pretty good dying position right there. Unload some of these firearms so that I have lots and lots of ammunition for later. Yikes. It doesn't seem like you held him off that well. It kind of seems like this got out of control really, really quickly. Couple of guns in and over here. Oh, he's got a VSV. I might take that in just a second. Here, trade with me. I need to get rid of some of these guns. I'm carrying around too much bullshit with me right now. As many guns as you want. Take all of them. I just don't want them in my inventory anymore. A couple of these forts, too. There we go. Give me them 5,000 rubles. Keep up or become blood sucker food. Grab all that stuff. The VSV, I might actually try to upgrade. I might hold on to it. The VSV is a really, really good gun in the previous game. I don't know how good it is in this one. But the VSV was one of those guns in the first game that was just like, oh! Once you found it, you could hear the angelic chimes lighting off in the sky and you're like hooray for me oh man don't move when i loot you that makes me feel guilty and a good little grip of cash off those guys too so with these vsvs i know i was carrying around a bunch of vsv ammo but did they nerf this gun too the accuracy's way up i'm sorry i don't know why i call it the vsv the vss i always call it the wrong thing for some reason i'm sure there's some gun guy out there right now flinching every time i do it don't worry gun guy i only have 40 rounds for it though I think my better plan is just to hold on to, like, the rounds and sell off the guns until someday I actually need them. Unless I stashed a bunch of VSS in the other zone. I can't remember. It might be worth holding on to one of them. Come on, speak up already. But the other one's worth a little bit of cash, so I think I'd rather just, like, get rid of stuff and get paid right now. Yep. On, 266. Get rid of some of the tourist delight because it's too heavy. Probably get rid of some of that, too. Well, those aren't that heavy, never mind. Still got a little bit of food. The grenades are useful, so I'm kind of inclined to hold on to them. Get rid of those. Obviously, the shotgun shells can go as well. Not Probably not going to have a use for those anytime soon. Let me just get rid of the other VSS. It's actually not that much better. It's really, really accurate. So if you like going for headshots, it's a great weapon. Especially since headshots in this game tend to be incredibly deadly. So that's bad for acting careers, but very, very good for us. It's a joke about... Never mind. Basically, when you go to get an acting job, you turn in a thing called a headshot, which is like a picture of you. There was a dead guy in there, wasn't there? But that was like psychic disturbances, too, if I recall correctly. I gotta get my reward from this guy, though. Missed out on it last time. And somebody on that flute is just jamming right now, taking care of business. Excited about the prospects of playing flute. If you got something to say, say it. That guy wanted something, and then where's the other one? Oh, he's in the other camp. Urgh, I'm in the wrong spot. As always. Alright, balls. Balls everywhere making me sad. Let's go back this way. I could, I guess, get one of the guides to take me, but it just seems like a waste of money at this point. Plus, most of the guides appear to be really, really dead. This entire camp got hit hard. I haven't showed you guys the entire place, but essentially they got hit by pseudo dogs, and they also got hit by bandits simultaneously, and it just wiped out half the camp. It was ugly. It's really, really bad. I am happy to say, though, that we're back up to like 14, 15,000 rubles, which tends to be like my safe place. I'm going to get out my anomaly tracker while I'm over here. Just in case there's any laying around. Or my relic or my artifact tracker. Artifact. Artifact. I knew a couple of artifacts. But 
I don't give them out anymore because Artie asked me not to. He's like, can you please stop giving out facts about me? I don't even know you. We're on the internet right now, and you're giving this out to people who have no tangible connection with me. I think I already looted this place before. I recognize the debtors. What needs to be defended? Alright guys, I decided to go back to town real fast because I realized there was another fight along the eastern side of the base that apparently I was unaware of. So I wiped out the bandits real quick. There's only like two or three of them, don't worry about it. I looted a bunch of bodies and I sold it all off, so we have a little bit of extra cash right now. This guy has a lot of NATO rounds, so what I'm thinking is that it might get a little expensive. But if I could do a full swap right now out of NATO and into... I don't know... If I could swap out of NATO, I'm sorry, if I could swap out of Warsaw and into NATO right now, I think that would be really, really satisfactory. It'd be something that I'd be interested in so I don't have to huff around two guns anymore. I could finally get rid of that one right there, and then we could just spend all of our time upgrading our AR-15 LR-300ML. I don't know if that's an amazing choice. What I find with the AK-47 is I get tired of kind of just like waiting for it to shoot properly. And so since it kind of just lobs rounds out, I'll probably get rid of it. And maybe get rid of some of the AP rounds as well. And if I can turn that into a suitable stockpile of rounds for my M16, I think I would rather do that. And so that gives me 240 right there. That'll put me at 550. That's a lot of bullets. That should last a while. Let me throw those in there too so I don't have them hoofing around in the backpack, being all heavy and whatnot. It might not be a smart idea to sell this gun. I don't know. I've upgraded it a lot. But I'd rather use this gun right here because the accuracy is so much better. So I'm just going to do that. And if it's bad for us, I guess it's bad for us. But for right now, I'm happy with this firearm. I really sincerely am, and I'd rather use it. We've also got some extra cash right now, so I'm thinking upgrades are in order. If we could take this thing, we got an underbarrel mount. We could go for a flatness upgrade. Probably a pretty good call right there. Make it shoot a little bit further and straighter. Take the handling up a little bit, too. I mean, I just got a bunch of free money off something else that I wasn't even working on, so I figure... What's going on? Why are you pacing around like something bad's about to happen? There's a guy on the roof over there. It took my scope off again. It is constantly removing my scope. There we go. Yeah, they're aiming at something. Either way, this area is like a war zone right now, so... We should probably, if we want to actually accomplish anything in this episode, we should probably just walk away and ignore it. So that's what I'm going to do. All these bodies over here are what I'm talking about. Like, there were a ton of bodies over here that needed to be looted. With all kinds of guns going on, I actually don't want to use that anymore. So let's just get in right here. Pop off a quick save real fast because I found that one of my biggest problems with this game is that I, like, never save. And so anytime anything goes wrong, i got to backtrack like an hour and a half just to fix everything. And it's a huge pain in the ass that I'd rather not deal with. I hope we'll be able to make it out here without too many troubles. I know there are some anomalies out here, so before things get anomalous, I would think I would prefer to avoid that as a possible outcome. We got a shotgun and some energy drinks over here. An odd couple of things to keep together inside of a refrigerator on the side of the road, but you know what? I don't judge. I'm not going to ask any questions about it because you got to store your items where you got to store your items. This guy over here, I've killed a lot of people, so fortunately we've got like a ton of stashes we need to hit while we're running around too. Even if, so is this one inside of here? I don't see what I'm looking for here. Let me take a look at the PDA real fast and see if it says. When Timmy fixed the tractor, we got loaded and went for a wild ride. We had to hightail it back and left our loot box behind. Is it inside the cab, maybe? Yeah, it's right there. There's a toolbox inside the cab. There it is. A couple extra med kits right there, which are always useful because I am prone to getting shot in the face. We'll go back into the this base. we got to grab our reward from the random military guy. After we get our reward back, we'll head back up to the north and we'll start playing around with the zombies and some of the other little things that need to get done. And in fact, I may use one of the guides to get around because it is faster. I think we need to go around back here, and then maybe? I don't remember if there's a way up over here or not. Guess not. Gotta go through the front door. Don't really have much of a choice then. I can live with it. I like being choiceless sometimes. Not classless, but choice. I holstered it right there. Calm down. And everybody around here is so hostile, even though I just like solved a huge problem for you guys. 
Like, well, I know you just went into the sewers and fought with all manner of horrible and hostile beasts, but I'm gonna get super grumpy if you walk around with your gun out because, eh, rules and repercussions. To the top of the stairs, Vigo. And I think we need this guy over here. Nah, that's not him. Are you always as verbal? Nope. I did I fix my armor does that need to be fixed okay my armor is good I wasn't sure if I fixed my armor or not can you even do anything with the shotguns oh you can you can make them a little bit better lower the weight accuracy up a little bit oh you can do pretty well with those things right there I mean if you get a couple accuracy upgrades in there it'd be a lot better but either way I was actually that was a ruse I was just waiting for my stamina to come back so that I could run back up the stairs without having to wait this guy over here, what are you going to give me? It better be good. I really hope it's not shitty. Oh, 10,000. Okay, I'll take 10,000 rubles. I love that. Mercenary, you did your duty well. Here is this from me. It will come in handy in the zone. Thank you for the reward. So we walked all the way over here. I don't know if I want to be part of duty yet. I haven't really decided whose side I want to take. I don't know. I'm leaving it alone for right now. Let's go find ourselves a guide who's actually right outside the door if we go down the stairs. And I'll have him take us back to the science center. From there, we should be able to get back into the storyline fairly easily, although we have to watch out for zombies out there. The zombies in this game are not your typical zombies that you would normally expect in a video game. They use guns, and they're actually a lot more... Basic. They're basically like humans that are quite a bit more resilient. Can you take me to... None of these are what I wanted. Well... I guess test yeah, take me to Agriprom real quick. It's faster than me walking. Why does it sound like I'm being electrocuted? I don't want to be electrocuted. There's no P in electricity. I just figured I'd throw it out there because it's funny. I'm gonna sleep this off too, because I don't like nighttime in this game. Oh really, it's dangerous over here. Pfft, who knew? Alright, well maybe I'll go inside the base then. And maybe it won't be dangerous if I do that. Huh, it's even more dangerous inside the base with people. Just goes to show. Can we sleep next to the poop chute? Weird. You would think it would be kind of safe in here, but I guess not. Maybe around the campfire over on this side? This game is really, really random when it comes to the places that you can sleep. Compared to the first game where it didn't have like mobs that attacked you. It's because of the stalker mod. That's all that it is. The mods actually make it a little bit weirder to sleep. What about if I rest right here? Oh wow, it's really dangerous. Okay, never mind. And the problem and the problem is that when you sleep when you sleep, they spawn right on top of you and so before the screen even loads, whatever spawned on you will probably kill you. It's poor design and it's never been like fixed in the mod. It's not a thing that they ever I mean, it would be easy to fix too. All they need to do is make it so that the mobs that spawn at night zone in further from you so that you have a second to draw your weapon and fire. Or so if you're around a bunch of other people, they'll spawn around them. However, doesn't look like we have much of a choice for right now. I'll just hook it back to Yantar. It'll be okay. All right, we're back. I finally got to sleep. It took forever, so we're back down at the scientist camp right now. I love how the doors here are just, like, haunted. Like, I don't even have to open them. They're just like, wah. I like to imagine that I have psychic Xavier powers or something. I can just open doors with my telekinetic mind. That'd be super badass. That's what this game always needed. It needed Dragon Ball Z powers. I mean, we've already taken it to the level where we're equipping ourselves with, like, random little pieces of nothingness that we found on the ground. And, like, protecting ourselves from psychic emissions from, like, the middle of nowhere. Oh, there's a bunch of these dudes over here, aren't there? Yep. Get dealt with. Get dealt with. Gonna get yourself all dealt with. I don't like zombies in my tree because you're dealt with. I'll shoot you in the face. I would love for these rounds to actually impact something. There we go. I mean, it's not that they're impacting something. It's just that they're having no impact. He's still twitching around his shit over here. I gotta put him down real fast. Oh my god, there are a lot of people over there. That is really, really concerning. I'm just gonna go... No, my weapon has jammed! You have been jammed. That's unfortunate. Always oh, picking the perfect time. Down he goes. And it looks like the rest of them have decided to infiltrate into the base. I don't know if they're going to survive it or not. But the AI seems to get stuck on these walls over here because of the way that they curve inwards. 
So who even knows? Got to be careful when you're in these situations because sometimes you'll accidentally shoot people that are on your side and then they will all aggro you and it becomes a giant pain in the ass. I could actually use some cash over here. If you guys are distributing, I would love to get some freebies. Get that heckler and Koch. Heckler and Coke? I don't know. Whatever. Rum and Coke is what I need right now. When I'm in the middle of like a psychic disturbance zone, I need that rum and Coke. Stop waving that gun. You got my attention. Your last name is Rambo? That's pretty cool. Is it kind of like an African warlord name? Is that actually like your last name? I am the General Mickey Mouse. I'm mean, like, what? That is not... I mean, I guess Disney does sort of inspire authority in some sort of weird way. Damn, we got hella money right now. Didn't this guy have a barrel suit? I should probably buy a better suit. I never do, and then I always regret it. What is that? Oh, USP? What? I kind of desire that. Oh, and then he had, what is that, like an AUG? What is that? An L85A2? Probably just sell it. Probably just sell it before I smell it, because I dealt it. Go back over to this side. And back. We really don't accomplish much in this series, do we? It's kind of embarrassing. Hey, walk over here, individual who looks like he's from Half-Life 2. Please, come back sometime. So you've got a barrel. How good is the barrel compared to my Winds of Freedom suit? <laughs> It'll give me 30 rupture. It'll give me 30 bulletproof, so it's way, I mean, it's better in all regards. We should just buy it now. I mean, we'll probably get one for free later on, and then I'll feel like an asshole. But what can you do? Oh, you got AP rounds? That's what I'm lacking. I don't have AP rounds. I would like AP rounds if you wanted to give me a couple. That'd be fabtabulous. Cool. Do you have AP? Can you get FMJ AP? Or does FMJ not come in that? I don't really care. It's not that big of a deal to me, but... Wow, we just spent some Skrillzas. Damn, are you guys being bombed right now? Like, Jesus, Bunker Busters or something falling from the sky. Put on the suit. Yeah. And this one's got a whole bunch of slots for... Wait, are those all open? Or none of them open? Oh, none of them are open. Oh, man, but I can't use my... No, my super awesome artifacts. I spent so much time accumulating them. Well, maybe I can upgrade this thing once we get around. I'm not going to worry about it because there is a mission to be accomplished, everybody. There are people that need our help. There are people that need to be exploited so that I can figure out where Strelik went and get lots of treasure. I still don't really know what the storyline of this game is. Like, we're kind of just following around Strelik. Up the hill. I do have to worry about radiation again because I don't have my little artifacty thing. Now, in the first game, there was a fence that went around all this. And so, no offense if it takes me a while to move around the back. But I think there were holes and whatnot in the fence as well. Oh, the fence counts as a solid surface. Hey. Hey. You better slow your roll. Wow, that did not do nearly as much damage as I had hoped it would. There we go. He only had like one tap left inside of him. Just one tap left inside like a vaudeville performer. Have you see my damn dad's routine? It's fantastic. It'll make you tap your toe. Ow. Critical Psy emission level. Why? I don't know why I fell in the Psy. Perhaps I'll die. I'll probably save too because I always forget to do that, dear. And then it costs me. These zombies are weirdly organized. I'm not very good at throwing grenades, but I'm going to try. It looks like it's sort of doing damage, but it didn't kill anybody. I was hoping to fish out a couple of fatalities right there. There's one. They might be softened up pretty well, though. There's one down on the ground over there, so I did get a casualty. If I could stop this invasion from occurring, that'd be great, but they got a lot of armor. Then again, so do I nowadays, so we might be okay for once. Ah, weapon jammed. I think I may have forgotten to get this repaired before we came out here. Are they walking backwards away from me? I command you all to fall down dead because I am a combatant and you are ignoring me. What, am I not a worthy foe? Stop making skip. Why do you guys all have MP5s when you're in military gear? What's... What in the he... Oh my god. Okay, so vaporized, I guess. Is there an artifact over here or something? 
No artifact that I see. Probably just bring the MP. I'll probably bring the MP5s along. I would love to not be blown up today. If you're wondering why I'm being so quiet, it's because I'm listening for the sound of my ass being blown to smithereens. Cool. We just beat up the zombies are definitely tougher. In the first game, the zombies were sort of just like a moderate hazard, if that. It was just kind of like, eh, there's a zombie here, but you can mostly just kind of walk by it. It's not going to bother you. It'll shoot at you, but they were really inaccurate unless they were super close. What is that? It looks like an arm bone or something. I'm not really sure. Let's see if I can sneak under this wall over here. We need to get over this red brick wall right here. And unfortunately, I don't think the location that we're at... Well, it looks like you might be able to jump the fence right here, maybe. Take that zombie out. I'm going to try and use my sidearm for a lot of this because... Headshots ain't working. This gun's like super accurate though, so I like using it. There we go. Wow, there are a lot of them in there. Jesus. Goddamn rounds keep falling short. I just need to clear out a little bit of space. They make noise when you hit them, so it's... Critical Psy emissions, huh? Ow! Alright, calm down. Apparently band-aids are helpful for Psy emissions. That's what I learned today. Let's go out this way, I guess, and we'll try and hit it from the direction that they suggested over there. Since this one appears to be blocked off using sort of like a faux... It's not a clipping plane. But ultimately, they don't want you to go that way. It's got an artificial barrier. When you jump up through there, you start taking a lot of damage. So I think swinging around this way is probably the better call. I'm going to see you all in the next episode. Hi to everybody.